So AMD will be announcing their brand new mainstream Radeon RX 5500 series today, which are based on the 7 nanometer Navi GPU architecture and aim both desktop and mobility platforms. Their details have been covered by video cards, which includes official specifications and performance metrics. AMD is not launching a single graphics card based on the Navi 14 GPU, but three different parts. The Radeon RX 5500 XT, the Radeon RX 5500, and the Radeon RX 5500M. Now you can tell from the name that the first two are aimed towards the desktop platforms, while the last variant, the Radeon RX 5500M, is aimed at mobile platforms. The graphics cards will compete against NVIDIA's existing and upcoming entry-level Turing-based graphics cards that are expected to launch this month. All three Radeon RX 5500 series SKUs are based on the 7 nanometer Navi 14 GPU, which has a die size of 158 millimeters squared and has a total of 6.4 billion transistors, which are more than the 5.7 billion that AMD had on their 14 nanometer Polaris 10 GPU. Given the die size and the transistor density, AMD states that their new GPUs would offer a 1.6 performance efficiency compared to the Radeon RX 480, which is based on the Polaris 10 GPU. Expect more details in a bit as AMD officially announces the Radeon RX 5500 lineup. It is also mentioned that the graphics card would only be available in custom flavors, so this could be a paper launch today followed by a proper retail debut in the coming days. For more on these topics as well as others, feel free to follow the links in the description below. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.